Hey guys, Nabil here. Hope everyone is safe and doing okay. And I'm bringing you today the latest from the world of SNK. Before we get started, a gentle, usual reminder to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you are notified whenever I drop a new video. This week was particularly good for Ikari Warriors fan, specifically fans of Leona, as the character was revealed for the King of Fighters 15. Now, revealed is a big word because we already knew Leona was coming to the King of Fighters 15. In fact, we saw her in the first teaser as a concept art and then we saw her in the first trailer of the game. But we finally have a reveal trailer. Um, and if you saw my frame by frame analysis that I did yesterday of the Leona reveal trailer, I thought she looks good. Uh, were my expectations shattered? No, not exactly. She's basically Leona from the King of Fighters 14, but she has a new type of move that she gets back from the King of Fighters 2002 UM and 2002, which is the heart attack a bomb throw. Other than that, she looks great and the girl has abs. Speaking of Leona, as usual after the release of a trailer, the game main illustrator Tomohiro Nakata shared a bit of insight behind the design of Leona. Let's check it out. As you can see, the artwork looks great and this is what Nakata-san had to say. She's been in nearly every game since her appearance in the King of Fighters 96 not only does the blood of Orochi flow through her veins, but she's essential to the KOF storyline. She joins KOF this time around for a very important mission. You don't want to miss her explosive antics. It's kind of interesting that he mentions the, that she's in this game for a specific mission, so that means she does have an important part to play in the story and hopefully the story mode of the game. Is she gonna be with Rolf and Clark? We don't know. We will see probably next week. I don't think we're gonna get another Ikari Warrior uh, character next week. I think next week we're gonna see the final character of the Women Fighters team, which I'm still hoping it's gonna be Kasumi. I was hoping Kasumi was gonna be revealed this week, so I'm still hoping it's gonna be Kasumi and maybe even Hinako. Why not? We'll see. Now switching gears a little bit, let's talk about Samurai Showdown. As you know, the game is well into its season three of DLC and we had the release of Hibiki Takane a couple weeks ago, which is the character from Last Blade. She's great, but she was broken. And finally, SNK has fixed that by releasing a patch today to fix a couple issues. Most of them are with Hibiki Katane. Now see, this is the official patch note for the Samurai Showdown season three patch. There's only one change outside of Hibiki, which is that of Hattori Hanzo, and that has to do with the hitbox from his uh, standard um, seal scroll or shadow particle attack. But Hibiki saw a lot of changes, and the main one, the main one is they resolved the issue with the heavenly bean blade, which is her power move. Because before it was actually, it was actually parrying everything from projectiles, rage explosions, supers, that is not the case anymore and now it only can parry direct hits which is what should have been from the first place. Luckily now she's fixed so we can finally give her a shot and try her against and see how strong she is compared to the other characters. Speaking of Samurai Showdown, SNK announced that these following two items are now on sale on their store and those are actually perfumes based on Samurai Showdown characters Nakururu and Rimururu. So if you wanted to know how Nakururu and Rimururu smell, well, you do have an answer now. All you have to do is purchase these perfumes, both of them or one of them, and then you have an answer. I'm betting Nakururu smells like nature, but just, just, just a wild guess. So that is pretty much it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. Who do you hope to see next week in the King of Fighters 15 trailer? My money is still on the third character from the Women Fighters team, crossing fingers for Kasumi Todo. I said that before, I'll say it again. I love that girl. Let's see what happens. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video from Neo Geo Now. Now don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not done so. And I would like to take this opportunity and thank my patrons for supporting the channel and making this content possible. Making daily videos and especially the documentaries and lore episodes takes a very long time and a lot of effort 
and being able to get some support for these time-consuming tasks allow me to keep going and strive for more and better content. With that said, I want to give a big special shout out to Michael, Bryant Yard, Fahad Aswaidi, Heinz Green 3, SSBM Slick Tricks, Jacques Paul, and Ken Suenaga. As well as special thanks to Shaka Asamiya, Refugio Robles, Felipe Guimara, Ji Hao Ju, Gil Sal, Muhammad Al Blushi, Anthony Longino, and Bernd Ritnas. Those of you who are not yet Neo Geo Now patrons, I hope you will check my Patreon page where you can become patrons, helping the channel produce more videos as well as receive special perks that are exclusive to patrons, like early access to videos, exclusive making offs, and other SNK digital goodies. Link for the Neo Geo Patreon page is in the description below. So until next time, thank you for watching.